Some businesses are back open tonight in Missouri under new guidelines set by state health officials. News 3's Danny Valle got reaction from businesses in Cape Girardeau. We're in the heart of Cape Girardeau where a scene like this hasn't been seen in quite some time. Lines of cars parked up and down Main Street, ready to go shopping at their favorite stores or eat at their favorite restaurants. But as some businesses begin to reopen, some owners still aren't sure what to expect in the coming days. Monday marked the start of phase one of Missouri's Show Me Strong recovery plan. It gave businesses guidelines to reopen, like Blue Diamond Sports Bar, which was closed on March 15th due to COVID-19 concerns. Well, we are expecting a lot of people, but, you know, time will tell. You know, we don't, you know, we're all, everybody's expecting a lot of people, but we don't know. Under these guidelines, restaurants can now offer dine-in services, provided that it practices social distancing. That means no more than 10 people at a single table. Owner Tim Fishbeck says the bar lost roughly fifteen dollars to $20,000 each week it was closed. Paying off bills made it an easy decision to reopen, amplified by the state's new guidelines. That's all we can do is try. You know, that's the best, that's the best method you can do is try. Bradley Jones of Scott City plays in a pool league here each week. He credits the state for taking the chance at getting businesses up and running. Uh, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Across the street at Back Porch Antiques, owner Beverly Caston has been offering curbside delivery during the order. With guidelines now in place, she's hoping to increase foot traffic in her store and asks customers to follow those guidelines too. I will provide sanitizer to use before and after. I don't have any mask, but I will, you know, promote that if they have a mask, please wear it. Reporting in Cape Girardeau, Danny Valle, News 3. The first phase of the state's reopening is set to last until May 31st. State and health officials plan to reevaluate data later this month to determine the next steps.